at Nairobi's industrial area, a maize milling process is underway at this plant owned by Peter Kuguru, who doubles up also as the chairman of United Grain Millers Association. Kuguru says production has dropped due to reduced maize supplies. Right now, we have been milling 10 tons, 20 tons, because we buy the maize in the open market, whatever we can get. He's laying the blame squarely on the strategic food reserve. But if you give only a few a few uh, millers, they capitalize it and they use speculation and increase the price. However, these are claims that have been denied by SFR in the past. In fact, what we are doing is that we are cutting out cartels. And I think that's why they don't like it. They didn't want us to know whether, yes, you are registered as a miller, but have you been milling lately? On its part, the Serial Millers Association CMA Chief Executive Officer Paloma Fernandez says the current maize supplies are strained but ruled out the possibility of a shortage. The National Cereals and Produce Board said it had resumed distribution of maize to millers after concluding a stock-taking exercise last week. The government had earlier on promised to import 12 million bags of maize by now. There will be a shortfall of 4.3 million bags. We require to import 10 million bags of maize between now and December. That is white maize for human consumption. We also require to import 2.5 million bags of yellow maize to cushion the dairy farmers. As the blame game continues between millers and the strategic food reserve, it is the consumers will continue to suffer as they pay more to purchase a package of unga. Consumers are currently purchasing a 2 kilogram packet at an average of 120 shillings and above for most brands in the market. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.